welcome or welcome back to my channel so i am back i kind of took a break during july i was a little burnt out and literally had no motivation to do any sort of content whatsoever but i had an idea that i can hopefully do for several months so at the beginning of each month i'm going to be posting a big speed build instead of like multiple little rooms like i did all throughout june which i can link that playlist in the description if you would like to watch it but instead of doing a bunch of little rooms i'm going to do like a one big build and for august since the horse ranch expansion pack came out i decided to do a farmhouse build um without the expansion pack because i have not gotten it it is a little pricey so i'm gonna wait till it goes on sale which is gonna be a long time but i i can wait but anyways this is me working on the exterior i keep telling myself that i'm not good with exteriors so i'm just not gonna do them but i realized if i never do them that i'm never going to get good at them so I am pushing myself and I'm going to start making exteriors of houses and landscaping and roofs. And roofs always get me for some reason, always, no matter what. And so there was a lot of things that I found out about building exteriors just do by doing this one layout. I honestly did not know how to make a foundation until I started building this. I literally had to look it up on YouTube because I didn't know how to make foundations as embarrassing as it is because I always say that building in The Sims 4 is like my comfort thing and I don't know how to build foundations. I mean, I do now since I looked it up on YouTube, but yeah anyways so what i was going for was like a modern farmhouse with one story big enough for a small family with some animals in the back and a pond and a bunch of places to plant fruits and vegetables and herbs and whatever else flowers i guess um so i built this on the empty lot in Henford on Bagley and I thought it was pretty spacious so I was able to fit quite a lot on it and uh, my favorite part I don't know I just really love how it came together especially like the exterior because this is l literally the first time I Told myself i was going to build an exterior instead of just getting it off of i don't know the gallery this is like the first time i built one and i was actually proud of it so that's a good step forward in the right direction on getting better just building in general because i love decorating small rooms i that's like one of my favorite things to do besides gameplay i love decorating rooms um but i'd like to start building actual houses because i've seen like speed builders and i'm like oh my gosh that room looks awesome i wish i could do that and the only way that i'm going to be able to do that is if i actually try in the past i haven't even tried i just gave up before i even started and that is not a good mindset to be in so right now i'm working on the landscaping and i decided that like all the flowers and accents on the outside were going to be yellow i tried to get the furniture yellow but i don't think any of the yellow furniture fit i think i went with like a light blue yeah i think yeah i went with like a light bluish gray instead of yellow for the furniture um but all the flowers were yellow and i stuck to it i don't think any of the flowers outside were any color besides yellow and i really like how the landscaping came out especially those planter boxes underneath the windows um when i first started like i did my very first i don't know let's play thing it was the best friends forever scenario i think i seriously went crazy with planter boxes and i placed yellow planter boxes outside every window on a teeny tiny house and i was like oh my gosh the parents just like oh my gosh your favorite color is yellow just make the entire house yellow and i was like 
Yeah, that's probably not gonna happen. I wasted all my money on planter boxes because I forgot I had a budget. Now I'm starting to work on the inside and I wanted there to be like a big archway separating the living room and the kitchen dining room. And I kind of struggled with like the layout and like I wanted to fit like three bedrooms and a bathroom. I think I got a master bathroom and the bedroom and then I got two kids rooms and a bathroom so in total I got like three bedrooms and two bathrooms but I wanted to fit a couple bedrooms and I was trying to figure out a layout without having rooms that were totally like blocked off like you could not get to them the master bathroom or bedroom I don't know why I said bathroom the master bedroom was almost completely blocked off and couldn't get to it until I decided to put the door to the master bedroom in the kitchen so for the kitchen i wanted to go with like a rustic theme and i really like how it came out it's like a super cute little cozy kitchen with like a dining room table and then big open doors leading to the backyard and the farm and off to the side there's like a little laundry room and then obviously there's the door to the master bedroom bathroom i do come back to the kitchen after a little bit after remembering i wanted children and so i think i hung up a couple baby prints and like i put some pictures on the fridge which i thought turned out really cute and as you can see the kitchen looks is like in that corner and it looks really cozy and then there's the dining room table with a rug which I kind of struggled trying to find the right rug because like it was either too big or too small it didn't fit right it didn't look right and that was nice and a struggle I don't know why I said nice but yeah um now we're moving on to the laundry room normally I don't include laundry rooms in my builds but I did for this one I don't know why I did for this one and not others but I did for this one and I put some clothes on the floor to make it look like a family laundry room because you're gonna find some clothes on the floor in a family laundry room. I, prove me wrong. You're gonna find clothes on the floor. Um, but anyways, now we're going on to the master bedroom and I really liked this bed and this was also a struggle to find a rug to go under it i don't know if i actually put a rug under it or if i decided against the rug i probably decided against the rug because i couldn't find anything that didn't clash um so this is the master bedroom and while i was building this i was thinking like mom comes from like the city and married a farmer guy and he loves like nature and the farm and he grew up on a farm and so she moved out to the farm so like this is totally new for her i think she's probably like an author and um she really loves like light tones um which is weird because their bathroom is all black and everything else in the house is like white oh i'm really loving this um changing the roof like color that is making such a difference but oh yeah here i'm looking at rugs and stuff and i don't think i found any but yeah she likes like light wood tones and stuff so i don't know why i made the bathroom black but yeah she came from the city and he grew up on a farm and they met and fell in love and she just moved out to the country and actually really enjoys it um she thought she'd miss her city life but she loves um the fresh air and the quiet besides the animals but like the quiet because it's totally different from the city apparently i did put a rug though i do not remember that but yeah here we go i'm putting up the baby prints and this is where i decided to put little pictures that their oldest drew on the fridge i will get to their like backgrounds like who the kids are once i start building their rooms but yeah the pictures are on the fridge are drawn by their oldest and the two baby prints are of their two children obviously when they were babies but now i'm just cluttering up the bedroom and i think i'm going to move on to the next room in like not that long i'm almost done i think 
except I needed to add a bookshelf because um, the mom is an author and she has a ton of books, but this bookshelf was kind of empty, so I added some of my own books, I added a box of stuff, and laundry on the bed because that's just too realistic. Oh yeah, they also have a cork board in their bedroom with a bunch of postcards from where... I don't know who's the one that traveled, so let me know in the comments down below who you think is the one who traveled all over the place. The city girl or the farmer boy, because I didn't decide. But one of them traveled all over the place and collected a bunch of postcards and now keeps a collection of them stored on the cork board in their bedroom. Now I'm onto the bathroom. This is the main bathroom, so there's going to be a little bit more kid stuff and clutter. I added some towels, but it really wasn't cluttered. And um, it's also lighter colors, which I don't know why I decided to make the master bedroom or master bathroom like black, because that doesn't really match the rest of the house. Um, but now I'm working on the entryway and there was this weird little space where I was like, well, you could like put like your shoes there and coats and your, I don't know, your letters, your keys. Basically, that's just where they dump their stuff when they get home. Now I'm going to work on the living room and I was trying to find a good fireplace that worked and it was big enough to have a TV on it and so I was just scrolling through the fireplaces a lot and I really like how this living room turned out it looks very spacious very cozy and I don't know when I place it but I do put an infant mat on the floor in like the middle of the living room between the couches um, so yeah they have their oldest daughter and their youngest Oh, daughter, sorry, I already spoiled it. Youngest daughter and oldest daughter. So they have two girls and they also have a dog. So this is the office and playroom and dog's bedroom. So this is where their oldest daughter plays with her toys. And this is where their dog sleeps. And this is where the mom writes her books. It's kind of a weird room with like a bunch of random stuff in it. Um, it really doesn't fit the vibe of the rest of the house, but I mean, everybody probably has that one room that doesn't fit the vibe aesthetically with the rest of the house, and that's okay. Now, we are moving on to their youngest daughter's bedroom. I really didn't have a story for her. She's she's an infant, um, so real things, you can't really put much of a story on her yet because she's not really old enough to make decisions on like what she's gonna wear or what her room looks like because she's a little bit too young to do that because she's an infant okay this is their oldest daughter's bedroom she loves the color pink and i don't think i put a story on her either even though she could probably have one of her own but i do know that she loves stuffed animals and loves hanging out with friends, and she's also starting to explore makeup. Um, there's a swing in the backyard, I will add that later, and she loves playing outside and loves listening to music and just got her own phone, so she's um, on the phone a lot. But yeah, she start, she's like, I wanna say like 11, 12 years old, so I don't know, the age difference is weird, but she's like in her tween years and then there's the infant, so. Yeah, I didn't really think this through, but we'll go with it. Now that the interior and the exterior of the house is mostly done, I started working on the backyard and last minute I decided to add a pool because who wouldn't want a pool in their backyard? And they have the room. It's not like this is a small piece of land. They have the room for a pool and it didn't really affect anything. I put like the, like, I don't know, floaty and the net thing that you use to get stuff out of the water on the fence. And I thought that was really nice. Um, yeah, now I'm cutting the backyard down a little bit 
because I wanted to add like animals and farm stuff and so I was kind of taking up a little bit too much room um so they will have a cow and chickens they also have quite a big like field for planting stuff and I think I added a scarecrow and bees I definitely added a scarecrow but I don't remember if I added bees or not um I almost added the tree house but I didn't think it would work with the rest of the trees around I know the oldest daughter would have definitely loved the tree house though so there's really not much left I'm basically just finishing up the outside the field, the pond, and basically that's it. But what do you think about it? Let me know in the comments down below and I'll see you later. Bye!